Hello and welcome to Andros Beer Advent Calendar. For 24 days straight, I'll review a different beer every single day. Today is day 17 with the Rügener Inselbrauerei German Coast Double IPA. With 7.5%, I expect only the best from this brand, honestly. So far I have not been disappointed by these, so let's crack this bad boy in half. Oh dear, okay. Let's give it a nice pour as per usual. And give it a good head as is tradition. Let's give it a sniff and wait for the foam to come down as as is as per usual apparently. Okay. It has quite a sour smell in a way. Strong. Considering, I mean, to be fair, it is 7.5%, so I assume it's going to smell quite strong. Ah, it's an interesting smell. It doesn't quite smell like an IPA, which is weird. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to fight with this foam now. Anyways, cheers. Oh, God. That is very alcoholic. And not in a good way. Oh. I'm not sure I like this. <laughs> Uh, come on, bro. It does say it's very bitter and very dry. That's very true. And oaky. Alright. I suppose it does taste a little... A little oaky, like wood. Yeah, I'm getting... Getting wood and oak. It does have oak notes. <laughs> Interestingly enough, now that I know that. Uh, but I gotta say, flavor-wise, it's kind of lacking. Uh... I don't know. The only taste, uh, the only thing I taste is alcohol. Not a fan. Not a fan at all, honestly. Damn, I'm really sorry, but that's gonna be a fucking thumbs down from me. With strong beers, I always feel like the flavor is accompanied by a stronger tasting beer, as in it tastes more like beer and not more like alcohol, but this just kind of tastes purely like alcohol. Holy shit. Nope, not this one. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to check out my ultimate beer spreadsheet, follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Discord server. The link is in the description. Happy holidays!